Hey guys, we are back finally after a long hiatus. We yes. were in Blackpool and we did a lot of training for Blackpool and then traveling around in Europe after that. So finally, we are back home and ready to get back to work again. That's right. So we are going to continue on with our series on line moves in standard dancing. And tonight we are doing... The Oversway. The Oversway. The oversway is really important. The reason why it's so important is because the oversway is one of those steps that is actually the base for a lot of line moves. So today we're going to give you guys a small combination to dance and we're going to tell you some tips about how you can make that oversway look gorgeous. Hi guys, if you like our videos, please subscribe, like, and press the little bell button below. combination that we showed you with the towel mark. So the first thing is the open towel mark. I step forward, then I'll step around the leg as I leave the heel turn. Yeah. And then I'll step to the side. And this is where I basically, I enter the left foot with quite a bit of shape to the left. There are some other figures that have a lot of shape to the left, but I don't stop there. So if I do, for example, a promenade and maybe like a left whisk, I will go into the strong shape, but I will quickly start to change it into the left whisk. Or if I did a chasse, I'm gonna level off the shape almost right away. I might do a, a turning lock, which I might keep the shape, but I'm moving across the floor. So in this case, I keep my shape and I stop my momentum, so I just stop. As soon as I'm here and I stop her, I could hold a little longer, maybe a, a split second, but I wanna stop and then I sway my body to the right. Now, it's taught very various ways. Some people teach it to not, to only sway the upper body and to not do anything in the lower body. Honestly, for me, that doesn't make much sense. I like to incorporate my lower body uh, when I do my oversway. So my knees, even my ankle here is going to change slightly. So my knees, my hips, my sides, I'm stretching one side, I'm compressing the other side. So I try to incorporate all of this. The only thing I don't change is my elbow. So I keep my frame, I've stepped to the side, I've stretched my right side up, and then I swing a little bit my hips to the left, my knees help, yeah, and then my side, left side stretches up, my right side uh, drops down, I'm compressing my right side a little bit, and I do the oversway. One of the other things I wanted to mention is the head turn, because this is always a big question for a lot of our students. So when I hit the oversway, it's a regular prominent position, so my head is left of center, yeah, Maybe just inside my hand. Some people like to overturn it a little bit. That's okay too. So the, the, hand, the nose is either just outside or just inside the frame. From here, I, I do my head turn relative to the sway. So if my sway is very sharp, then I turn my head very sharp. If my sway is very slow, it's going to be slow. Or any variation of that. I could go slow, then quick, then so that my head will be quick at the end. And the other thing is that direction at the very end, I try to aim my nose over core. Sometimes people overturn it. So they'll do this, the lady's over here, and then their nose is way over to the right, and then it looks uh, sort of twisted away from each other. That's not very uh, good looking, yeah? So literally, I put my nose over my partner's head. So if my partner's head is somewhere here, my nose and my face is over the head. I might look at them, uh, very likely in an oversight, I'll look at them. Sometimes I might look just over the head. That's kind of personal preference. So, from a girl's point of view, we are going to finish in promenade position 
going into the first step. But because the man is going to stop his movement a little bit on that foot, I always feel the lead for an overswing from the man's left leg. So as I'm going into promenade position, I feel the lead for that overswing here. Now, this is going to tell me that we're going into some sort of line move. It could be a left whisk, it could be a throwaway oversway, it could be an oversway. What tells me that it's just the oversway is that I feel him start to swing his hips with very little rotation. So when he starts to swing his hips, I follow that through my own hips and then create the arc in the back. Now this is a good shape for an oversway, but if you ask me, I think that one side is quite a lot shorter than the other. The next thing I'm going to talk about is turning the head. We do turn our head, but it's important to remember, ladies, that our head turn has to follow the shape change in the body. So what's going to happen is starting from promenade position, I land in my promenade position, but I don't turn it the moment that I feel uh, Simeon starting to swing his hips. I start to swing my hips with him first. So at some point, I'm looking straight up at this guy. And then as we continue, my head finishes that turn. The other thing that I want to remind you, and we talked about this in some of our other videos, is where our extension comes from. So remember ladies, our extension is never created from dropping our back down, but created from lifting our upper back forward and up. So even in an extreme shape like an oversway, I still have my head just turned to the left and my upper back is lifted forward and up like this. Now what makes it look so extreme is the fact that I'm bending into my knees and creating a bigger sway with my upper body. So if we can see it from this angle here, I create the curve, but from here, the only extension that I create is from my upper back getting involved there. Now if you notice where my nose is, it's no more than if I just turn my head to look at you right now. But because I've done more with my hips, I've bent into my knees, I've created the swing in my hips, and I've created the sway in my upper body. When I combine all of those together to there, it creates quite a big shape. One last thing to remember is that going into our oversway, in the waltz version, we have a heel turn. So Telemark always has a heel turn. The great thing about our heel turn is that we have an awesome heel turn tutorial video just in case you need a little bit of extra help learning how to do that one as well. So make sure you can check that out. For this last part, we're going to give you some tips about how you can dance it better with partner. We're going to start with a couple of easy ones. Uh, the, the first thing, and this is important for almost any move, I want you guys to think about the pressure you have in the free foot. So oftentimes people are very loose with the free foot and also with pressure, the uh, beauty of the foot, you know, so try not to have an ugly foot this way. Some people have it very flat so that the heels on the floor or very close to the floor. So I like to have it on the inside edge. It's a little bit like a promenade position in the foot, uh, in the foot only. Yeah. Uh, my leg is straight though. So in promenade, my leg is not straight, but my foot is very similar. It's on the inside edge and I do put quite a bit of foot pressure into the floor. Now again, some people don't like the foot pressure. I believe foot pressure is really important. So from here when I step to the side, I really feel like I'm pressing into the floor. And this will help you have a strong lead and the lady will feel more yes. stable. That, that thing is going to be equally as important for the ladies. Particularly because we are not wearing long pants like the gentlemen do, we wear skirts. So when we dance an oversway, you can see the line of the lady's foot. Particularly nowadays that sometimes the skirts can be much shorter, we see the line of the lady's leg. So you want to maintain the foot pressure in the inside edge of that foot so you get this nice line with the ankle as you can see there. The other thing that uh, is important and a lot of uh, couples ask us about is the spacing. This is a mistake that happens in almost every single figure you can think of, especially uh, ones that have sway, rotation, and the worst is when it's a combination of sway, rotation, and maybe rise and fall. Well, we can get into each other's space. I like to think of it like a clock, but let's say we're looking at the clock from above. Yeah, we are in the clock, and I'm at 7 p.m., and Cora's gonna be at one, uh, one o'clock. Yeah, so I'm at seven, she's at one. Uh, we're gonna approximately, like you can think of maybe two o'clock, and I could be a little bit more to the left, depends on the figure. But the idea is that we are, this is our starting position, she is in front and to my right, 
and I am in the back and to the left. And I want to maintain that position. So here, if you imagine the clock is uh, parallel uh, to the floor, I'm going to tilt the clock toward the left side of the room. And then slowly, I would tip the clock to the right side of the room. So the whole time, not the clock from here, I'm still going to be at 7 o'clock. And she's still going to be at 1 o'clock. We might have stretched it away from each other a little bit, but we're trying to maintain the spacing. So she's in her quadrant in front and to my right, and I'm behind and to the left. So like for example, what could go wrong, I'll do a bad one, from the over sway, I could go into the lady's space. This is very common, yeah? I wanna keep my own space so I don't put any unnecessary pressure on the lady. And uh, for the lady, sometimes the lady falls into this space, especially on the entry of the oversway. And that could really mess up the oversway. So again, she is in front and to my right. And when I hit the first part of the oversway, she's still there. Now we've, we've swayed, we've changed our, our position, but she has not come into my space. So ladies, to make sure that you don't move into the gentleman's space whenever he does a shape to his left, so to our right, we want to make sure that actually, instead of following his body perfectly, we are going to send our weight back and left, even though he's shaping to our right. So if I demonstrate that, if I follow him exactly, it looks like this. So right now, we haven't changed our position in relation to each other at all, but it doesn't look good. I'm running into his face. So what I need to do is, I actually, when he shapes, I actually need to to move back into the left. So yes, I have a sway in my shoulders, but I'm not going in the same direction he is. I am actually moving my body shape back into the left so that we maintain this uh, um, weighted weight of the clock the, the entire time. And then as we continue, I want to make sure, and this is really important ladies, that the more I sway to any one direction, the more that side lifts up. So in this case, the very first shape that we have is a sway to our right. So what most ladies will do is they will sway their right side down. So if they do that first one, they'll go down. Again, now I've moved into his face. So I'm going to lift my right side up. Now when we dance the over sway, I want to lift my left side up. Most ladies will take their left side down, but I pick my left side up. So in this case, what our sides do is a little bit counterintuitive. We can say that actually it's opposite of what we think it's going to be right off the bat. But this is what makes us feel light in the gentleman's arms so that we don't feel like we're pulling down on the man at any time. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us today and watching this video about the oversway. We hope you really enjoyed it. Remember that the oversway video is a part of a, uh, of a comprehensive glossary of all of the line moves that we have in center dancing. So the next one that we're going to be doing is the throwaway oversway, which is an expansion and a variation off of this basic throw, uh, oversway. Uh, that also, like we mentioned earlier, includes the X line, it includes hinge lines, and we're going to be covering all of those in videos just like this. As usual, if you like the video uh, or any of our other videos, please uh, subscribe, hit the like button, and press the notification, the little bell notification, so that you get updates on our newest videos. Also remember that there is a link to the article on our blog that corresponds with this video in the description, so don't miss that. And other than that, we will see you guys next time. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye. Bye. Corresponds. <laughs> <laughs>